We're gonna be going over 10 things that you guys need to know about the MetaQuest 3 before picking one up. And we're gonna make this as fast as possible. So number one is gonna be the remote desktop feature that Meta actually implements with your PC. Basically, all you guys have to do is install the MetaQuest 3 remote desktop app on your PC and then you guys connect it via a USB cable. And then you guys just put on your Oculus and go to the remote desktop feature and boom, you guys have your monitor right in front of you. You guys could adjust the size to whatever you guys want, which makes this so cool. If you guys have a small monitor, maybe now you don't have such a small monitor. You guys can make it as big as you want. There are ways to have multiple desktops, but just for testing purposes, this is what we got. And yes, this is actually practical and I actually edited an entire video using this before and it was very nice and very crisp. And especially with the new mixed reality feature, it's very convenient because I could still see my hands on the keyboard. I could still see the actual letters of my keys while editing. All right, so next up, I was already talking about the pass-through feature and I want to kind of explain this a little bit more in detail. Previously on the Quest 2, the pass-through feature was more like black and white. And now thanks to the upgraded cameras, we can actually see in color and it is way more immersive, which is why I love the new remote desktop feature so much more is because I could see my keyboard while using the remote desktop. If I look around, I could see whoever comes in the room in great detail. I could see their facial expressions. I could see my dog come in the room. And if I get a notification on my phone, I could pull my phone out and actually see what's happening on my phone while not even taking off the Quest 3 headset. In my opinion, that is a massive improvement and it's something that I really love about these. All right, so for number three, you guys can record footage. You guys could do this on the other Quest as well, but it's just something I want to keep in mind. If you guys are just now getting into VR, this is something that is really fun to do so that you could share with your friends some of the experiences that you guys get on the VR headsets. The MetaQuest 3 makes it very easy. You guys could press the meta button and hold the trigger, and I believe that should start a recording. And if you guys just press the meta button and press the trigger, you guys could take a screenshot. So it's very easy to share your memories with the MetaQuest 3. All right, number four, you guys may have heard about the pancake lenses, and it's a pretty interesting analogy. But the way I see it is pancakes are pretty thin and these lenses are pretty thin, which means that the actual headset is smaller than the previous gen. So you guys have less weight on the front, and a massive improvement in quality. In short, those new lenses will provide a sharper image and a wider field of view than the previous design. Next up, number five is the improved performance. So we have a better processor in here, which basically allows us to have higher screen resolution, more memory and more storage, and of course, 120 Hertz, which is a massive improvement from the previous gen. Now it's important to remember that not all games support 120 Hertz, but if you guys find the right games, you guys could really see a massive improvement. And as these kind of roll out, we will see updates in games that will allow us to use 120 Hertz and more games that just automatically go to that. So for number six, we're gonna be talking about these. They come with different remotes and you guys don't even need to use these. Technically on the Quest 2, it was the same deal. You guys could use remotes, or if you guys wanted to, you guys could set them down and it would track your hands. Now with the new Quest 3, because of the different camera angles, we have better tracking of our hands, which just makes us even more convenient. And overall, I really enjoy this feature and I feel like it makes VR just feel even more real. So for number seven, we're gonna be talking about the people that wear these glasses. In the previous generations, you guys kind of had to do a lot of work just to make this fit with glasses. They've made this a lot easier. There's a little switch right in here. And if you press this, it allows you to pull out the actual headset. So all you guys have to do is press a little button. There's two on either side and you just pull back a little and it just allows for easy adjustment. So the actual cushions now came farther out that way. And it just gives me that much extra space so I could wear these bad boys while wearing the headset. Number eight, we're gonna be talking about casting. You guys could preview your gameplay to a device so that your friends could see what you're doing. So if you guys are at a party or something like that, you guys could cast this very easily to the app now, which makes this just even more fun to share. Number nine, we're gonna be talking about battery life. Because of the nicer processor in here, the higher screen resolution, the better speakers, the battery life can be depleted within an hour and a half to two hours. So if that's not enough time for you guys, you guys can try to use the low power mode, which basically reduces the quality and brightness to make sure that you guys can maximize the time that you guys are using this. Of course, you guys could always just get a very long USB-C cable and you guys could just freely use this without worrying about the battery. 
but that's just something to keep in mind. All right, and lastly, we're gonna be talking about the speakers on this thing. You guys get an audio jack and you guys have built-in speakers, but people seem to be actually preferring the built-in speakers on this thing. The audio jack, for whatever reason, people think is underpowered, which leads to music or sounds not being as loud as you may want at max volume. But what people are not complaining about is the actual sound quality that comes from the headset itself. Most people are noticing that it's actually louder just to use the headset speakers now and more immersive. The speakers on the Quest 3 are great. Anyways, those are 10 things that you guys need to know about the Quest 3.